Hello, everyone. Am I audible? Hello, everyone. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. You're audible. Yes. Uh, so yes, ma'am. Let's start the event. Uh, good morning and a very warm welcome to each one present here. I, Nidhi Bajay, coordinator of today's webinar, welcome you all for today's event on behalf of Shriti Dev Kiba Mohan Sanjee Chauhan, College of Commerce and Science. This is the 12th national webinar organized by our college within the last three months. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge our management committee's support for conducting this many webinars. I would also express my gratitude towards our honorable chairman, Sri Fatih Singhji Chauhan sir, our pillar of motivation. He is the one who has sold the seeds for the initiative of organizing the webinars. I would also thank our principal, Professor Dr. Amada Sadaf sir, for his continuous guidance and support. Now, I would like to call our principal sir for addressing the participants. Over to you, sir. Principal sir. Thank you very much, Nidhi. Uh, and welcome all the participants to the Unity Voting and Monetary Channel Prize of Commerce and Science and Law. Uh, this webinar is on online admission and uh, fee collection online learning management and uh, accreditation data management system. So it's a very vast topic in fact and very relevant and apt uh, because now if you look at the situation we have to be online. So for this one we thought that let us have a sort of webinar so that the people will come to know about the online admission and fee collection without coming into the physical contact of the students and then online learning management system, how to manage the whole learning system uh, without coming into the physical contact of the students or the teachers uh, because it is uh, quite you know, scriptable about the uh, acquiring the COVID-19 and uh, moreover uh, this one accreditation data. All colleges are need to be accredited by 2020. So it is also very important aspect that we should collect the accreditation data for the accreditation data so that we can uh, upload that one very easily. That was one of the uh, motives of organizing this <coughs> webinar. And moreover, in fact, we are supposed to organize this only for our college. But we saw that let us other figure as a serious one. And uh, you see, we have been attending so many webinars and there are so many systems for online admission, collection, then learning management system. There are so many uh, so the institutes. They have come forward, they have developed softwares and applications. So we thought that let us compare this one also to Microsoft team. So Microsoft. Uh, so we have arranged this one. And friends, I hope that our teachers, or the principals, the participants will get benefited of, uh, out of this, uh, this webinar. Our friends, as you know that we are at Simasa, our charitable this, our college is run by charitable trust, the uh, Lions Club of Simasa Charitable Trust. It was established in 1983. They started a small school at Silvasa to impart the education to the surrounding area. Now it has grown into a big school. It is one of the biggest schools uh, in the vicinity of Rocky, Silvasa and that area. Uh, about uh, 5,000 students are enrolled in our school. And then our management, most of our management trustees were educated from Mumbai University. So they thought that we just have a college they sought the affiliation of University of Mumbai. So our is one of the colleges outside uh, Maharashtra jurisdiction affiliated to University of Mumbai and uh, we learned. Uh, so our bank started college also in 
2014. So our college is in the early baby steps, but we have progressed in lots. Uh, we are having traditional basic sciences you see in all subjects from Bartley, Zonji, Chemistry, Physics, Mathematics. Apart from this conventional basic uh, subjects, we have applied subjects also for BSc in Computer Science and BSc in Information Technology. We are having another faculty, this commerce faculty, in that we are having BCOM and BMS. And I am very happy to share with you this year we have got permission to start YAMCOM also. So in our campus we are having education from PG to KG, KG to PG. So we are catching a vast course in this area. My friends, after that we have always thought of starting law college also. So the law college started in 2017. Now our batch is likely to become uh, this was the first batch of LLB <coughs> in our research. So we are having two courses of LLB. So the one is for after 12, that's five years course, and then another is three years course after uh, graduation. So in short, this is the next in the next uh, introduction of our uh, college. I hope that the participants will be benefited out of this webinar and I also uh, take this opportunity to thank our management, especially uh, our chairman, uh, Mr. Pratesh Yanji Chavan, who has been always supporting us to organize this kind of workshops and uh, our secretary, Mr. Kutar Mehashaha, I mean, he must be there on the, uh, on the webinar. So, thank you, Mr. Sir. And then, on the whole uh, trustees, I welcome you, sir, and I go over to our technical team. Thank you very much. Today's webinar in collaboration with Microsoft, who are also uh, Microsoft, sorry, who are also Microsoft partners. We have Mr. Gaurav Soman, sales president from Microsoft, with us today. Now, I would like to invite Gaurav sir for further proceedings. Over to you, Gaurav sir. Thank you, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. First of all, I would like to thank you for giving us an opportunity to present with master, uh, with the institution. And I am just sharing my screen. If you can confirm, uh, my screen is visible. Yes, sir, visible. OK. So uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thanks, ma'am, and thanks uh, to uh, Shrimati. Uh, hello. Yeah. So uh, thanks to the institution for uh, organizing such a great webinar. And uh, together we would like to, you know, uh, enlighten the and share our views with the academic community on, as sir had mentioned, on online admissions, fees collection, learning management, and accreditation data management. So I'll just take you through a brief about introductory session about what master software is and what are we, how are we present in the academic domain. Master software is a campus management solution organization serving all categories of institutions like schools, colleges, universities and educational trusts. I, uh, Gaurav Somani, along with my team members, Poonam Nathani and Aniket Sonar, welcome everyone to the today's content. Microsoft is present for last 22 years and serving almost 2,000 plus institutions. We have an experienced team of 200 plus members, ensuring a 99% user satisfaction and best support across the country. Our founder and managing director, Sri Sham Sovani, had an experience of working with Nagpur University as head of computer center, where he developed the in-house ERP for Nagpur University. His passion to serve the academicians made him to start this organization in early 2000 when you know the 
automation or computers was a rare thing also as a part of our core team we have academic dr s s gokhale dr r natarajan and from industry we have shri madhusudan ji kela and mr sharad heda headquartered in nagpur we have clientele across 200 plus cities in the country and support offices in almost 20 plus locations our regional office is present in mumbai and chennai we trusted by our private autonomous institutions government institutions and deemed institutions we get importance we are also trusted by large educational trusts and groups wherein uh, there are groups like mega group maharashtra college then you know bhavans konkan gyan peet zeal education deccan education society and lot of autonomous institutions from mumbai like ruya college nagendas khandwala sofaya gn khalsa and cbs and many more trusted by large number of school groups which you can see here on the screen so saint xavier's group queens mary school of scholars mount carmel and and so on so forth some of the important facts about master software being we are serving autonomous institutions since 2004 and managing almost 20 lakhs plus online applications so this is what you know uh, was pre covid i'm sure you know this year these online applications are going to be more than 50 lakhs where you know students will apply because each and every institution has to as per the government uh, regulations is mandatory to go for online applications wherein we can keep the students safe from this pandemic 15 lakhs plus live students are been managed in the system and almost 700 crore plus rupees of fees collection is been managed to the system so this is the kind of volume that master software is managing along with 50 lakhs plus student result processed but when we are talking about a cloud based solution it is very important about the data master software is fully complied with the data policy of the country and we have 100% ownership by the institute and the society the secrecy is 100% maintained and no pi spi data that is the personal and specifically personal information such as card otp or cvv numbers are ever stored on the master software systems data handover to the institute is as per their convenience you can download the data store and print reports also there are auto emailed triggered system from the of the reports as far as data protection is concerned the complete data is completely protected under the agreement as per the government laws and all the servers will be managed for diagnostics and analytic alerts so that there are no fraudulent transactions on the system as far as encryption is concerned the complete passwords are encrypted there is a role based access to the users cloud with more than 20 plus servers so there is a cloud farm so that there is always a very high availability of the system there is no direct access for the users to the database and data audits are there for all these services we consume services from microsoft azure which is one of the premium cloud services provider in the country also approved by government of india and as per uh, certified by nic and stqc this is under the megraj policy of government of india otp on sms and email are available as a part of multi factor authentication to secure the logins we also integrate with lot of other technologies like payment gateways in paytm atom hdfc and many more also we have integrations with office 365 microsoft teams power bi for analytic and dashboards and business sms and rfid and so on and so forth so basically we focus on the four a's that are the pillars of education that is admission attendance assessment and accreditation which is you know very popularly understood as assessment of institutions we are 100% aligned with the solutions and there is a range of solutions that we offer for schools affiliated institutions autonomous institutions and university with affiliated colleges we believe in one organization one solution and all the activities can be processed and managed from a single platform the overall modules are broken down into multiple parts first being the student information management system then the hr management then the campus administration related and mobile app and trust management system the trust management system that master software offers for multi academy trust which has schools colleges and multiple institutions is the unique feature 
that we are offering so student information management would mean you know everything starting from online registration admissions merit list fees collection student administration timetable attendance examination as per the university uh, norms and uh, you know student feedback and alumni so this is how you know the student module is broken down then we have the hr which starts at recruitment and similarly follows the complete life cycle of a faculty and you know basically ends at the appraisals then we have institute administration modules like finance library hostel purchase and stores mis reports mobile applications for student faculties and management and also there are lot of add on modules which have uh, you know the uniqueness of master software which are society level reports power bi dashboards which are powered by master soft microsoft uh, power bi then we have accreditation data management system for nac and outcome based education and we have which is the need of the r that we are also going to see the demonstration for it today is the e learning module then we have the bus tracking system also there are general administration modules like visitor management inward outward vehicle management and maintenance management what the society guest at the top is access to all the group level reports they can drill down into the institutions there are power bi dashboards for to see the fees collection trends performance faculty payroll attendance and so on we can generate on the fly reports and connect with all the stakeholders through sms and email and more importantly all the statutory reports the, the reports required by statutory bodies are in a multilingual format auto scheduled reports to authorized users regarding reminders to parents daily collection register for management and officers outstanding dues list receipt cancellation alert to the management admission cancellation alerts auto scheduled reports of you know such nature are there in the system so the complete structure of the solution is like the educational trust at the top it may be a central funded institution state funded institution or a private educational trust or a society then under that will be the institute administration there can be multiple institutes then under that are the teaching and the non teaching department of each institutes under which we have the actual users like the students officers the faculty members and the staff we would quickly see some of the dashboards that are there so this is the student dashboard where they can see attendance announcements remarks time table and so on then we have the master dashboard from where we can see the complete institute administration like vacancy on lead management we have dashboards for applicants what are the modes of applications how much applications are received in what particular degrees then caste category wise gender wise breakup course wise breakup then we have the students enrolled fees related breakups so fees collected fees pending scholarships by caste category or quota gender wise collections then we have the management overview where we can see all the institutions and the total student count applicable fees outstanding fees also the absent faculty count then we have the fees collection related dashboards college wise if you want to see uh, similar some of the dashboards then we have uh, the dashboards for religion wise caste category wise mis reports the attendance related dashboards staff performance related dashboards what are the grades of each subject that the student has secured how many students are pass and fail in this subject then we have a mechanism on outcome based education where we can uh, also you know map the assessments and you know the complete assessments will be uh, taken to see whether the program outcomes have been attained so direct and indirect assessments are calculated then we have the library management system where we can see the list of borrowers and so on then we have the visitor management dashboard where the management can see who are, which all institutions have visited on a particular date then we have the stores related dashboard finance summary uh, opac is there mobile opac system where book, students can search the book on the dashboard and uh, they can also do the claim reservation if they are a registered student then we have mobile apps for students where they can see their attendance assignment related details registered course related details internal marks results grievance addresses uh, so result analysis is what they can see in out time if you are following the biometric system and uh, you know so attendance communication apps are there where you know mobile uh, app based attendance can be taken by the faculty members 
and we also have uh, classroom based attendance wherein you know biometric based attendance is there but now uh, due to covid i am sure you know this is not going to work out we students will not want to touch the surface uh, again and again uh, since it is you know about the distancing so we are also you know coming up with a new app and you know the new technology is been integrated where we are integrating wifi based devices and this will also measure the temperature of the student so attendance uh, at the main gate will be taken through the system and uh, you know the complete data will get transferred through a wireless connectivity on the web portal and from that which will be visible in the mis so this will help the management to take a decision on you know so these are the covid tools that have brought in this will help the management in decision uh, aid and they can you know understand if the student is not well they can ask them to uh, you know be out of this uh, institution or they can ask them to take rest for some days then we have you know the faculty diary that is there so faculties can see their mark their leaves and also you know the service book can be seen by them they can apply and we have on screen valuation for autonomous and you know institutions where the examinations are conducted in house so overall i would like to brief you on the masters of success factors exclusive focus on education institutions and backed by thousands of academicians customized solution as per the requirements of the management uh, and power bi dashboards that are there there is no third party dependency the master software is 100% owned and the solution is 100% the ipr of uh, master soft therefore the customizations happen at ease whenever there are change in regulations from nac wherever there are change in regulations from university or ugc or any new body that makes the changes in uh, terms of reporting structures then the new reports can be developed and new processes can be adopted on the fly uh, a very recent example is because of covid the mumbai university had to adopt a new rule of result processing so uh, you know within a single uh, click now the institutes are able to process all their results as per the new regulations of the university then and therefore all of this assures a quick roi because high quality of implementation team and dedicated resources are available in mumbai region and all across data migration is the responsibility of our organization we will take all your existing students dump and migrate it on the server so the implementation times becomes small and we can see the quickest results also high level of accuracy in generating merit list financial transactions and examinations and results data privacy secrecy as per the government of india policy 100% complied and also accreditation and compliance related systems like choice based credit system performance based appraisal nac or iqac uh, outcome based education and you know many more that are coming up like nirf and so on so this is the overall success factor of master software master soft is the only service provider which has also presented during this year's annual partner summit at headquarters at redmond in usa where our solutions have been you know liked and appreciated by thousands of people in microsoft and these solutions will soon go global right blend of technology and domain expertise quick return on investments unmatched support and enhanced efficiencies are the key pillars for master software solutions i would like to thank and take a pause and uh, take for the next proceedings and the technical sessions of the seminar can we please invite the next guest who would take the first technical session for today can the question and answer after the okay so i invite uh punam ma'am punam nathani ma'am is vice president for at master software and is a veteran member with master soft for almost last 10 plus years ma'am will be taking the first session that will be on online admissions fees and you know the student management part yes thank you gorav uh, am i audible yes ma'am yes yeah. so the screen is I also visible so on behalf of uh, master soft team i would like to thank uh, shri dev devki bai mohan singh ji chauhan college silvasa for giving us this opportunity and uh, we will move on to the first technical session that is the online registration how institute can facilitate the online registration within the next 8 to 10 days for their students 
so uh, basically what we provide is an institute specific form so for all your fy sy or ty or junior college you can have your own institute specific form you can decide the form fields and set the parameters as per the institute requirements we will go in detail of each of these heads that we have created over here and the next is the registration as well as the payment configuration that can be set at the master level you can generate the merit list as well as the admissions uh, can be given and the fees can be collected from the system itself so we'll move on to the first part that is institute specific form creation this is the a uh, personal detail form wherein uh, these on the left hand side you can see the fields or uh, the tabs which will be appearing for the students what we have given is a provision whether you want these fields on the uh, form or not and whether you want to make it mandatory or or non mandatory so it's all up to the institute to decide what or fields you want on the form now we have created options of 80 plus fields so uh, there are a lot of fields based on the experience of all these institutions that we have we have added all these fields you just have to choose and pick as to what all you want on the form the next is the address configuration wherein uh, you can set the permanent address details as well as the uh, local address details from the students also you can make them mandatory non mandatory as per the field uh, configuration that is given over here the signature and the photograph of the students can be taken on the form itself and uh, you can make them mandatory so that it ensures that you have all the photographs of the students which can be used for various other uh, applic uh, certificates that are required to be printed at the institutions be it the id card the mark sheet or the tclc wherever you want the photographs that can be taken from here then there is a last exam field configuration uh, this is applicable to all the courses wherein uh, you know you want the students last exam details which is a qualifier for their admission to the current year so uh, for a courses like first year any course you need uh, the degree college requires 12th exam marks as well as the 10th examination marks so you can check over your what all details you want for courses such as sy or ty where if you want to take the registrations for the first time from the students since you are not a part of the mastersoft group you can also add the sgpa or the cgpa field and take the data from the students so based on the qualifying exam field we have created this form wherein you can decide what all fields you want from the students to be taken as input now uh, there is a provision uh, we have thoroughly studied the mumbai university pattern wherein we know that there are a lot of subject combination that the university offers and which are selected by the college and they offer the same to the students so what we have done is we have created predefined subject groups so uh, there is an option to create more than you know how however much subject groups you want based on the option that you give to the students and uh, we have institutions who have more than 180 plus options as a subject combination so you can set your predefined subject groups and these can be selected directly by the student they need not put an individual subject name over here now subject group mapping each subject is linked to the uh, you know a successive subject group that will be applicable to uh, that subject so these mapping are done predefined so that you know the student from fy to sy or sy to ty hasn't got the option to select any other combination or any other subject which is subject group which is not a part of the integral subject that he has chosen so these all mapping is done internally so that the application form process for the student is seamless now our uh, preferences we have also given the option for the student to select the preferences that he wants if he wants to have two preference or three preferences here on in the master setup we have given course wise how many preference you want the students to have so if you want the students to give two preferences you can set here two if you want for a particular uh, uh, op uh, subject uh, course you want three preferences so you can set that also over here that the tab configuration so for colleges with commerce option you don't require all these subject details they are mandatory for all years so you might remove this subject tab that will be appearing for the student also these personal this personal tab will be mandatory you can select what all tabs you want if you don't want to change the student's address details which are already there with you mm -hmm. you can select it as off 
So this is what the tap configuration is, wherein on the left hand side, these will be appearing to the students and they have to fill in data each tab wise. So you can set this parameters over here. Now registration fee is the next part that wherein you know course wise you can decide what registration fee you want to set for courses which are self finance you can have a higher registration fee as compared to courses which are aided so you can set the registration fee over here course wise also you can set the date configuration as to on what start date and end date each application form will be uh, open for the students to apply so over here you can select like ba first sem third sem fifth sem or you can also select uh, like you know same dates can be set for bcom bsc whatever fields you have like if you have commerce since you have commerce and science you can set what all dates you want this can be also set for the junior college as well now, uh, since once these all parameters are set, we provide the registration portal link on your main website, wherein you can set up some instructions for the students and also you can uh, create the link hyperlink, which will redirect the student to the application portal. So this is a simple application portal where a student who is new to the institution. This is especially applicable for FY registrations, wherein a student who is new will click on register now button. So he has to enter, uh, he or she has to enter the mobile number, the email address, the username and the password. So over here you can see the mobile number is a mandatory field. The email address can be made as a non-mandatory field. So mobile number is taken by MasterSoft as a key link between the students and the institution for any kind of communication. So any kind of info you that you want to send to the student, all the transactions are also based on OTP. So any info that is there, it is linked to this mobile number. And so there is this ensures that there is no other student who is applying on the student's behalf. So this mobile number is very important for registration process of the student. Now, if a student is are taking admission in SY and TY and you already have the student's data. We upload this data in the system and we provide username and password to students who already have registered mobile numbers. They will log in directly from their username password, which will be sent to the mobile number, which is registered in the system. Once they get the username password, they will have the predefined fields which are there, which were earlier uh, there in the system. They would be automatically filled. The next is the instruction. Whatever instructions you want to uh, ask the students before they want to fill in the form, they can be uploaded from the master setup. So this instruction form can be uploaded by the institute itself. This is the form that comes for the student who is already a part of the institution. His details will be coming over here. You can also for SY and TY admissions set what all fields you want the students that can, he can change. So uh, you can also set these fields that you want these fields to be updated by the students. Here the student can also apply in a particular caste category. This is especially for FY admissions. So as if the student wants to apply in a particular caste category, he can select over here these Cast category master can also be set at the configuration level. So if you have a religion minority or if you have a special caste which is specific to that area and it is approved by the government, you can add that particular caste category in this uh, drop down list and uh, ask the students to take admission, apply, ask the students to apply in that particular category. This is another, uh, this is the uh, continued form of personal detail wherein you can see other details that have been taken. Whatever fields we have marked as mandatory will be coming with an asterisk sign. Since these are not marked as mandatory, they would be not coming with an asterisk sign. Over here, you can see the tabs that the student will be seeing, the personal detail tab, the address tab, the photo details, all these tabs will be seen by the student. Now we've added a few fields like, you know, whether a student has a desktop, whether he has a laptop or he just has a smartphone and whether the student has internet connectivity. Now this data is required seeing the current situation wherein you can plan how you want to take the online classes or online education, how you want to continue for the students that can be decided by the inputs that you get from these particular fields. Contact details, so based again, whatever details we have marked over there, whatever uh, tabs you want that will be coming over here. 
and these are the qualifying exam details so based on the course that the student is applying if it is for first year over here you will see the last exam details or you can also set subject marks so for courses like bsc it you need maths marks for you to decide the students who will be selected based on the merit like the maths marks will be the criteria for merit so you can take that particular subject marks from the student also also they can enter the total marks over here the percentage is calculated by the system itself if a student has any gap in education that can also be taken because that criteria is required in uh, you know merit list generating the merit list so students with gap are not uh, eligible for the first merit list So this is the document and photograph upload screen wherein what all documents you want the students to upload there is a master form to set these documents uh, these documents will be coming over here as to what all documents the student has to upload once the student uploads you can view them you can verify them and you can check them the student uploads the photograph as well as the signature the document can include ssc certificate hsc certificate caste certificate or domicile certificate these certificates can be made mandatory by you or non mandatory now based on the subject group and the subject combination that we have set at the master level over here the student can select the subject group and also there is a option to select the preferences so whether the student want that group as first preference or second preference that would be coming over here these are the optional subjects which the student can select over here now uh, once this data has been filled the student can pay the registration fee online now whether you want to open the offline window that can be decided by you otherwise it can just be online window only for the registration fee so for fi admission if you want the students to pay only online they can the receipt that is generated for the student this will be going on the email as well as the mobile that he has registered and this is the receipt that is generated for the student with the transaction id and the transaction status that is uh, given to the student now this form is generated from the system this is equivalent to the prospectus that you give to the student so there is no need to uh, print a separate prospectus form this form can be printed by the student at his own uh, disposal and can be submitted at the institution it will have all the details that you have uh, selected on your main form the student exam details can also be uh, seen over here so you can have all the exam details as to what all has been a cgp sgp the you know the Uh, uh, basically the signage of the student that uh, you know this uh, is a provisional admission which is subject to any uh, checks after you do the document verification and the availability of seat so this is the signature of the student declaration by parent any other declaration you want to add we can add whatever additional signatures you want be it the attendance uh, you know a uh, sign off or be it the anti ragging sign off all these uh, text fields can be added over here and you can ask the student to submit that before he uh, completes his application process now once we have the data of the online registrations so or the students have started registering online we get multiple reports based and based on the condition like if you want a caste category report or obtain marks report registration wise report we get multiple reports so this is one of the regist uh, report where in course wise you can see how many registrations are there and how many students have paid the registration fee now since there is a difference of the number of students who have registered and who have paid the fees you can ask these remaining students to pay the fee to complete their registration process by sending them an sms so once and asking them that they are eligible for admissions once they complete the application process so this is the overall data that the institution can see at his or her you know laptop even being at home this is the registration report that is generated student wise you can see also this is date wise you can see how many students have registered this is a student preference report so session name student name and these are the preferences that the student has opted for so you can generate all these type of reports also based on other criteria like caste category wise if you want report or you want a subject a group wise report they, that can also be generated from the system you can also generate uh, the excel report of the same now uh, since these reports are generated and you want to verify whether the student information that has been entered is correct or not the student 
student does not have the right to modify once he has submitted the form the administrator can enter the registration number if there is some change that the student wants to do on the form he can enter the registration number and he will get the details of whatever has been filled by the student so here he can change suppose the caste category of the student that he has entered is not as per the certificate that he has uploaded you can change the caste category of the student so also the marks if the marks entered by the students are not correct as per what he has entered in the form you can also change the same now once we've received the data we can generate the merit list after we have closed the uh, application uh, last date we can generate the merit list for the students the same can be uploaded on the website the merit list can be based on you know the merit group wise what percentage you want to the merit list to select from so once you have the reports you can decide what percentage you want the first merit list to be generated from you can also have caste category wise uh, merit list you can have concession wise merit list you can have gender wise merit list also you can decide the number of students that you want in the merit list to be generated this is a sample merit list that is generated now this is completely as per the requirements of the university wherein first merit list will have the criteria second merit list will be based on the preferences the student has given and students who have not taken uh, you know admission in the first first merit list are eligible in the third merit merit list that is generated by the institution so that right that internal logic is handled by mastersoft and this is the excel data that is generated uh, after the students who have been selected in the merit list can be uh, generated in the excel format the list can be generated in the excel format and once we have this merit list students we can migrate the data into the main erp so we have kept the registration portal separate uh, as compared to the erp because we don't want all the students to be the part of the college uh, system you can access the um, data whenever you want however only the admitted students are considered in the erp so in the main ERP, your first task would be to assign the fee heads since the students are now applying, they are now paying the fees. So for SYTY, we do this beforehand, before the application process. And for FY, we can do it later on also. So this is the degree college. We have the option of creating various cash books. So you can define your own cash books. You can define fee heads over here. There's a provision to add 50 fee heads. And also these heads, can be assigned whether it's an installment fee head so you can collect in installment the fee for this particular head you can also check whether it's a caution money field so caution money reports are generated separately it's a late fee so late fee logic can be applied over here on a particular fee head so based on these you can define number of fee heads which are there for the institution also you can assign a bank account to which this particular fee head goes so if university fee that the student pays to the university is going to a particular particular bank account you can also select the bank and the bank account which are also at the master level configurable by the institution so this is the fee structure that you can create over here for each course type student type like you know you have caste category wise open student wise home university student wise you can set each individual uh, fee template whichever fee template uh, is applicable to the students the templates that you have that can be created over here now student once this is done the student has to go to the fee paying portal wherein his registered mobile number has to be entered he gets the total fee that is allocated to him with respect to the course that he is taking so you def you can define fees for bsc sem 1 sem 2 sem 3 open category as well as the caste category the mapping uh, bulk mapping can be done by the institution as to what all students are eligible for what all fees and this is the fee total fee that comes to the student over here it goes again to the payment gateway it is routed to the payment gateway wherein uh, the student can pay via credit card or debit card and he gets the uh, payment receipt as well as the confirmation of the payment the student on his portal can see the payment history wherein he can see whether the transaction is success or a failure transaction he can also fire a requery in case a transaction failure is there or he is not sure of what his transaction status is 
This is the fee receipt that is generated. So based on the fee that we have standard fee that we have defined for all these heads that have been created, a uh, receipt is generated for the student. The student can pay installment fee in installments. Also the student, you can also keep a base amount for the student. And after that, whatever the student wishes to pay, he can pay that. The installment facility is also there. And here you can see the receipt is generated. So receipt for a uh, bank uh, transaction is generated. The student type, whether it's a degree college general category student, open category student can be generated. This is the online transaction report that is generated. So you can see the student price, how much has been collected. The daily collection register that is generated from the system. Here you can see the student details, the head wise description of fees and total cash and bank transaction. So uh, this software gives the provision of collecting fees at the cash counter also. Also in a single receipt, you can collect cash as well as bank transactions. Suppose a student has bought a DD and that is short of the total fee that he is supposed to pay and the remaining he wants to pay in cash. So in this single receipt number, cash as well as bank transaction can be viewed. So this is a detailed daily collection register. There are 50 different types of detailed daily collection options that you have wherein you can just see cash transaction, bank, bank transaction, short DCR, detailed DCR. Also, uh, there is a provision to cancel the receipt, the receipt modification option we have not given. So if a receipt is wrongly generated, you can cancel the receipt. This report will have re uh, receipts which are cancelled. If you want to see the report without the cancelled receipts, you can also see the same. This is a short daily collection register wherein student wise total amount collected with the check or DD number if you are collecting at the counter. The detail comes over here. Also, the receipts that have been generated will be coming here. The bank account to which this amount is going also comes over here. This is head wise fee that has been collected. So under each head, how much fee has been collected can be seen over here based on the heads that we have defined. So this data can be used to migrate to tally the total head wise amount that has been collected. This is the miscellaneous fee report that is generated. So you can collect other fees, miscellaneous fee, uh, late fee, caution fee, apart from the uh, basic DC uh, cash book that you have, you have other mis uh, cash books also like miscellaneous fee or you know late fine or any other fee that can be collected from here. So reports also for the same comes over here. This is the outstanding report. So once you have uh, generated the uh, basic fee report, you can uh, generate the outstanding report and you'll get how many students are actually uh, not pay have not paid the uh, complete fee. You can send them SMS. You can send them notification on the mobile app since once the student is admitted, his mobile app also gets activated and you can send a notice on the mobile app also. Now other online activities that can be done uh, by the institute are you can collect the other fees, you can generate MIS reports, you can configure your own late fees, you can check how many students are paying the transaction every day wise the report can go or the uh, basically the information can go daily to the management. Also, you can have cancellation provision. You can have the provision to refund. If the student is canceling the admission, you can refund him the complete amount. You can also process the results. As for the university, the result module, we will go into the details later. And you can send notification or alerts to the student with respect to any activity that you are conducting. And uh, you, we have also generated a feedback form for the students, those who are admitted. So you can take some basic info or you can set your own questions for this student poll or feedback poll. A poll, uh, this can be used basically for you to decide your online teaching plan. So if you have students in the same institution or if you have multiple students, if the students have uh, multiple members in the family who are accessing the internet, you can decide on the time, you can set ask the students the convenient type and based on their feedback, you can actually decide the online teaching time and the uh, complete infrastructure details or complete uh, details can be planned based on the student poll which can be taken from the system itself. So this was about the registration, online admission and the fees collection. If you have any doubts, we can uh, take them. Otherwise, we'll move on to the next module which will be uh, showcased by Anike.
Hello. Hello. Yeah. 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 There was a question on YouTube that how can we do book sharing so that simultaneously four or five persons can work? Uh, book sharing? Yeah. yeah. Book sharing. So, uh, ma'am, for that, uh, you can upload the link on their mobile or, you know, upload. Uh, we will be showcasing you the next module is the learning management system or ITLE. That is what we call wherein how you can manage your classrooms as well as how you can manage your teaching and learning that can be shared. So you can predefine or pre give them the book or the link on which it can be shared or the notes which are there, which the student can uh, read through or open at the time of the online lecture that is going on. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh, there are no more questions on YouTube. So, I guess we can go ahead uh, with the next yeah. question. So uh, next I would like to invite Aniket. Aniket will be showing you on live uh, ERP how we are managing the uh, learning management, like you know how we are managing interactive teaching and learning with the students and how this is linked to the examination module and how you can generate the, cert, uh, the grade cards also in the system. So, um, yes, ma'am. Aniket, over to you. Yes, ma'am. Um, there is a question in the chat box uh, wherein uh, Ajay Kumar from Ajay Kumar sir, uh, he wants to know fee, uh, fee refund mechanism. Fee refund, uh, basically there is a screen or uh, there is a form wherein uh, you have to select uh, the option of why you want to refund the fee. Is it due to admission cancellation or is it due to change in the course? So course change or fee type change. Suppose a student has taken admission in uh, a particular course uh, as open category and now he wants to take the same in the cast category for which he has got the certificate. So there is a refund that has to be initiated. So these are the reasons and whatever is the standard fee that will be shown to the student and whatever is the fee that is refunded can be uh, seen over here. I'll just show you and take you to the refund uh, form once. Is my screen visible? Yes, ma'am. So uh, you select the course here. You set the refund due to change in fee type. Select the student name. Whatever is the applicable fee would be coming here. Whatever student has paid the fee that will be coming here. If you want to refund the fee, you can enter it headwise that this is the amount that has to be refunded. And based on that, you have a refund register that is generated against this student. This much has been refunded. Now, currently we are uh, operating on a cash or a DD or a check mode. We have not initiated a direct transfer uh, to the bank account because none of the colleges have asked us. So uh, that is why uh, it is managed at the institute level. Uh, hello, uh, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Please. Uh, please. Uh, there is one more question on YouTube. Uh, that is, does information of MKCA is synchronized? Yes, ma'am, we can upload the data that you receive from MKCL in the system directly. So you gender, you can get the Excel, you get the Excel from MKCL that you can download and we can upload this data in our system. Okay. So technical assistant for management from master software training. Uh, so we have a technical team. Uh, we have a complete office set up in Mumbai and we have around 10 uh, deployment engineers who are actually training regularly or basically based on the requirement that is there from the institution. Okay. So initially there is a hand holding till you actually start with the processes and later on when you are comfortable with the system uh, when as and when the support is required you can call the office at any time. So I guess we move on to the next module and we will answer the questions which are Hello. coming up on the chat itself. Hello, Bob, I have one more question. Yeah. Uh, what what are the basic uh, requirements from management side or uh, institute side that are like uh, infrastructural facilities? What basic infrastructure uh, the institute must have so we can have this particular e-system for the admission and other things? 
Sir, this is a complete, yeah. Sir, basically this is a completely cloud enabled solution. Uh, so mm -hmm. we require a good internet connection. This mm -hmm. uh, solution is compatible with all devices. However, we recommend a laptop or at least a tablet for uh, the staff members to operate. So a basic requirement is just an internet connection, considering that each institution has at least laptops for the uh, accounting staff or the uh, uh, staff who is handling the uh, software. Oh, and window system or like uh, processors in the computer, like those any infrastructures? Uh, no, sir, this is completely browser enabled. So uh, whatever latest version of the browser is there, be it Mozilla, be it uh, the Microsoft Edge, any browser this is uh, compatible to. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So uh, we'll answer the uh, coming questions in the chat box itself and maybe we'll take it in the end of the session and we'll move on to the next technical presentation that is the interactive teaching and learning. Aniket, over to you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, first of all, a very good, good morning to everyone. So I'll be showcasing the LMS module, the learning management module of our Masters of DRP solution. So once an institution enroll, uh, so they, they would be provided uh, ID password. So every faculty uh, and every staff would be provided their own credentials, ID and password. So they have to enter the ID and password in this particular box. And once they enter, so this is the dashboard of uh, Masters of ERP solution. So on the left side, uh, all the modules that are that an institution has uh, enrolled would be visible to them. So uh, we'll be today uh, showcasing the LMS module. So here we select the ITLE, which we also call as interactive teaching and learning module. So here uh, a faculty has to select the session, then the course. And once selected the course and the subject of the, in which the particular faculty teaches. So this is the overall uh, user interface of, uh, of, a, of a ITLE module, wherein you can define the syllabus. You can create the syllabus of this, this particular subject. You can create the syllabus centrally Centrally, uh, you can create the syllabus, you can create a unit of that particular and you can also assign topic to that particular unit. Also, any announcement if you want to carry out related to this particular uh, related to this particular subject, you can also uh, give the announcement to the students. There is also an e-library feature wherein the faculty can upload uh, an e-library document related to this particular subject and that would be visible to the students. The next is the teaching plan. They can also upload a teaching plan related to this particular subject in which the faculty is selected. Also the lecture notes. So there is also a lecture notes creation wherein you can create the lecture notes of a particular of this particular subject you have selected. So you can add the lecture notes and the students in the student login can view the lecture notes. There's also a feature of assignment. So here, here a faculty can create an assignment and all the assignment that has been created by the faculty uh, would be created in this particular section. So this assignment will be provided to the students. So once provided to the students and student uh, reply to that particular assignment, uh, a faculty can mark the 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 uh, the student via here by clicking on the assignment and marking the student. So you, a student can upload a file, a student can get, uh, type the assignment online itself and can submit to the uh, faculty. So this is how a, a faculty can you know have an interactive session with the students uh, and can collect assignment in this current uh, COVID-19 pandemic. And more than 2,000 institutions are using our uh, uh, ITLE module to conduct uh, I, uh, LMS mode to conduct the inform uh, uh, and session or assignment session with the students. Also, there is a session to a section to create an objective question bank. So here, a faculty uh, or a student or a faculty can create a questions of the object objective questions. They can uh, mark the answers of that particular question. They can create an objective question. Uh, once created an objective question, all the objective question will be visible in this particular box below. So uh, all the question that has been created by this particular faculty will be visible and this will be act as a question bank to the particular uh, subject. So once each and every question which has been uploaded, an objective question that has been uploaded in this question bank, uh, uh, objective question bank, then the faculty can out of that question bank and create an objective test. So here a faculty can create an objective test so all the objective tests by selecting the questions, uh, whether, the, whether the faculty wants to that particular test to be OTP based, they can also select the option of OTP based. So here a faculty can select also the OTP based question and out of that question bank, faculty can select the number of questions that a particular faculty wants and can send to the to students. So once they can set the date, time and the end date of that particular test or a, or a deadline or a start or end time to that particular test, 
so a notification will be triggered to the students and at that time they have to enter the test so for example tomorrow if there is 11 am there is a test they can select the objective test and uh, they can select the students and can send to the students so students can on the, on the 11 am will start the test and appear the test that has been selected by the student, uh, by the particular faculty so this is how an objective test uh, can be carried out uh, with, uh, with with the with the particular uh, college so also the marks of that objective test will be directly created at that instance only so once you select that uh, you select once the once the correct answer is selected and you select to display the marks to the students so once the student completes the test the marks of that particular objective test will be visible to the student directly also you can import the questions uh, so you can download the data the, the format of excel and you can upload the questions in the particular format and once uploaded uh, then objective question bank can also be uh, uploaded by excel format also now similarly as objective test you can also carry out a descriptive test also so for example if you want to carry out a descriptive test you select the descriptive descriptive test you select the topic name you add the question uh, but you can only add the question descriptive test and then all the questions that has been created by in the all the question that has been created by that particular faculty would be visible to to that particular faculty in this particular section so this are all the questions. So this will act as again as a question bank of a descriptive test. So this is, for example, this is a question bank of descriptive test. And then uh, also there is an option to import descriptive test also. As I said, uh, there is option to import uh, objective test. There is also option to uh, import descriptive test also. So here a faculty can download the Excel format in which the questions need to be filled. Once that is once all the all the fields are filled and uploaded, a descriptive test. Is directly uploaded in the Excel format into into the system. After uploading and creating all the question banks, a faculty similarly to the objective test can assign descriptive test to the students. So here the faculty uh, need. Yeah. So once selected, uh, a descriptive test will be created and will be assigned to the students. So once uh, once students complete a descriptive test, so uh, once uh, students complete a descriptive test, the faculty can check the descriptive descriptive test submitted by the student in check descriptive test option. So here a faculty can check the descriptive test submitted by a particular student or a particular uh, stu uh, batch. By clicking on view, by clicking on the test name, and can checking uh, on the view answer sheet. So once clicking on view answer sheet, a faculty can see all the responses that has been provided by a particular entire batch, and they can assign marks to that particular students. After uh, so, this is how a descriptive and objective test uh, is carried out in a particular uh, institution in this COVID-19 pandemic. There is also feature check assignment. So all the assignment that has been created can be checked by the particular faculty in check check assignment section. Also to process the result. So if you want to process the result uh, of this uh, uh, LMS uh, or, or the objective test, you can process the result from directly from result process. Now, if you want to transfer this test marks into an internal marks, you can also transfer the test marks as an internal marks uh, to that particular subject. Uh, so you just have to select the uh, objective test or descriptive test. And then you have to select uh, the weightage of that particular test. Uh, so once selected, uh, this partic that particular test would be acted as an internal test to that particular uh, subject. Now there is also a feature of e-library search. So faculty also can search a e-library uh, by their own. So they can search the e-library. So all the library that has been uploaded by the faculty, they can also search by adding the keywords. And then by referring to the students, so the faculty can also refer to any e-library that has been uploaded by the by that particular faculty or other faculties. They can refer to the student by clicking on refer and adding the student's name. There is also a feature of discussion forum. In discussion forum, uh, faculty and students can have a discussion with each other uh, related to a particular topic or related to a particular uh, subject. In the last. Feature, uh, also, 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 also,
लाइट जो रहा ये चालू है वो मैं थाम ना जरा स्टूडेंट लॉग इन so this is the uh, dashboard uh, of the particular uh, student that would be visible to the particular student uh, i would request everyone to please uh, mute their microphone uh, okay. so it would be so no disturbance will be carried out during the particular session so in student login uh, the student has to click on itle and select the course similarly as the, the faculty hi <laughs> and here the student has to select the subject so this is all the user interface uh, of a student login so as the syllabus that has been created where we can be visible to student in syllabus section any announcement then any uh, assignment that has been assigned by the faculty can be visible in the task then the teaching plan done by the faculty can be visible in the teaching plan as i said any test that has been assigned to that particular student can be visible to in this my test option and they can perform the test so this is what uh, the itle module or the lms module of uh, masters of erp is so any questions related to this can be asked in the chat section hello hello sir हेलो अनिकित सर हां मैम प्लीज प्लीज देयर आर टू थ्री क्वेश्चंस ऑन द YouTube आई विल रीड देम आउट या मैम प्लीज हां वन इज दैट डेटा वुड ट्रांसफर टू टेली मैन्युअली और ऑटोमेटिकली और इट हैज टू बी डन मैन्युअली मैम इट गेट्स ट्रांसफर्ड ऑटोमेटिकली सो द सेटअप इज डन इन द सिस्टम so that the data gets uh, you know once the setup is done then uh, at, after the fees is collected a single entry is passed through the system where you know you can uh, directly transfer the fees entry to the tally consolidated fees entries into the tally okay uh, the next question is uh, is it possible to hack the system by outsiders uh, it is regarding the system security ma'am i had mentioned during my initial presentation that the system is fully secured and uh, you know uh, basically uh, the only worry that we see is lot of people share passwords with each other so you know if we are uh, following the password hygiene i uh, we are you know we are pretty much sure that the system is uh, not accessed by anyone else okay uh, for assignments uh, can we give time limits yes ma'am you can give time limits for assignment okay and uh, there's one more question regarding the SMS systems. Uh, please explain about the SMS system in detail, which students receives and its payment updates. Uh, uh, pardon, ma'am, if you can. Uh, okay. Ha. Explain about SMS system in detail, which student receives and its payment updates. Yes, ma'am. So uh, you know, whenever the fees is yeah, so whenever the fees is paid, the student gets an SMS alert. okay whenever the fees is due fees is paid so all all the triggers that we can set in the system and uh, based on those triggers the student will get the fees alerts so institute okay. can basically set their own triggers as to you know when they want uh, the student to receive an sms and uh, so on you know so basically that will be followed up okay so these are the questions from youtube and they are all over now from youtube all the questions have been answered okay ma'am 
so uh, ma'am yeah i have a, i have one question uh, regarding last session like technical session uh, i posted in yeah. chat box ma'am you can you can see that i posted that question in chat box ma'am you can see that ajay kumar from ajay kumar it is uh, 1208 it is yeah we'll just check sir yes chat box 1208 hello yeah hello, hello. yeah yeah the yeah, question is the link the link that will be shared with students is accessible from mobile or students need to see the cyber cafe on laptop ma'am that can be accessible through mobile as well and you know uh, and uh, if at all students so it is Uh, for better uh, you know reports students should access it from the uh, laptop or uh, computer because they have to upload lot of you know documents and all but otherwise the form filling link is available on the mobile itself uh, sir i have one more question uh, whatever the uh, website you are providing or software you are providing is that uh, compatible for the rural area student who don't know much about english and some other uh, regional languages if you can provide with that yeah so the system system is enabled with lot of multilingual uh, reports okay. and uh, that can be enabled for the students yes i mean uh, that that is uh, properly i mean that is you uh, uh, enough user friendly for students also yes 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 definitely user friendly for students and uh, that Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. We can start with the next session. Yes, sir. We can start with the next session. So I like to just share my screen. Just allow me one second. my screen is visible ma'am no sir your screen is not visible yet no sir no sir mm -hmm. just a sec my screen is visible ma'am no sir no sir the screen is not visible yet ma'am i'll just show okay. yeah so ma'am is yes. it visible now yeah. yes ma'am basically you know we'll be discussing in brief about the accreditation data management system where you know we can record maintain and compile the data and be prepared for a uh, you know peer team visit uh, basically accreditation data management uh, is uh, you know the data crunching of the existing data that we have in the system which is represented in the right formats that are required by various accreditation bodies and you know we are if we are uh, you know sure that if we are entering the complete data in the system in time then we can generate the outputs in the uh, required formats uh, master software aligns with uh, you know the changes that are coming up and basically if we see the accreditation say for nac evaluation then you know uh, you can set up in the system the criteria wise uh, whatever the weightage is because it is different for university or autonomous college and the affiliated college and based on the criteria as we know that the 70% weightage is based on the data based and you know uh, quantitative uh, evaluation and 30% is on the qnm 
so what are the usual challenges that we face you know while submitting the reports uh, for accreditation is uh, basically you know organization of reports at the college level uh, because uh, we have to you know every time we face the accreditation we have to you know uh, involve lot of people multiple stakeholders in providing the data assembling the data and you know uh, the exact format of the data a lot of times it changes so we have to you know it's very very tedious so what we do is you can generate the report of your data in the uh, auto generated format as per the requirements of the accreditation body then also chronological order and the uh, date formats of the report is very important so uh, since we enter the data in, uh, attached to a particular date and time so we can generate the reports on the date wise format then we also have data privacy and vulnerability uh, related challenges because lot of times you know some edits are there in the data and uh, we do not uh, have uh, the right or you know lot of times we miss out that original data uh, data gets corrupted or so on so forth so uh, since this is a software and you know data is completely protected it also has a role based access so if i have a right to enter the data i cannot modify the seniors or the uh, you know the authorities uh, can only have the iqsc team or the nac team can have the authority to modify the data and so on so forth so basically maintaining that the data is intact as entered into the system uh, maintaining the supporting documents that are required so the complete erp that uh, you know solution that we have has a lot of supporting document uh, you know so on each and every criteria and sub criteria we have a provision to attach uh, pdf files and also you can define the web links and all of this is systematically maintained so monitoring the entries also there is a monitoring screen where you know the head of the institution can monitor the entries of the system uh, and you know the uh, system report and the analytics can be uh, measured so we can actually know you know what is it that we have achieved how much is what we have achieved and uh, so on so forth then there is uh, you know uh, if we uh, go into the detail so the complete solution structure is that data assembling is happening in the system data is managed it is compiled in the for report formats and it is sent uh, given to you for analysis so if you can see you know uh, once we log in we have to basically set up the uh, masters so the cycle master the committee the bodies that we have so you know uh, the executive body and you know the advisory bodies then we can uh, define here the teacher post nature grievances types because we have to capture the grievances and so on so forth we have to first set the criteria uh, you know based on the five year scale so we have to first set you know what is our uh, cycle uh, so i may have a cycle of uh, 2013 to 17 someone else may have you know from 20 to 25 and so on then we can you know, these are the preloaded masters defined as per the nac so you can set you know what is the uh, weightage on each criteria and sub criteria wise indicator wise weightage and indicator details and you can see here there is a provision to upload a image now uh, there is a facility to import and export data and all master software users uh, basically the uh, institutions who are using our solution get a direct uh, data fetching facility so the data that is there in the erp gets fetched to the uh, nac reports related section then we have uh, you know the student uh, related uh, system wherein you know we can see the dashboard that uh, what is the student strength over the last 5 years category wise gender wise state wise student strengths can be seen here similarly we can see the staff distribution so these are the management dashboards in the nac module where we can see that in the accreditation data uh, you know is our teacher strength sufficient uh, you know uh, do we have teaching and non teaching staff members full time half time, half scale paying teachers and so on so forth and sanction wise teachers and strength and we can also see the criteria wise data fill up status so you know do we have or how are we achieving as far as the accreditation is concerned do we have you know students who have enrolled in our certificate and diploma programs if it says zero then that means that institution either has to start up courses or it may happen that some courses might have happened and we have not entered the data into the system similarly for you know other criteria each uh, sub criteria wise data that are available in the system are uh, you know can be seen here and system utilization uh, can be seen here uh, from the system whether you know the erp is been used or the solution is been used by users we can set up the basic information of the institute college entry you know what is the establishment of the college the type of the college uh, whether you know uh, the area the designation the address details the phone number uh, then you know whether our college is uh, status of the college so grantee aid or you know anything else that we can specify uh, gender specific if it is there Uh, then the establishment and you know 2f 12b uh, certificates also what we can upload that we get from the ugc and then we have the academic information so the academic information can generate statistical reports like details of programs offered by the college student admitted in the last four years 
So all of these reports are required in the Excel format, and all of these reports can be generated. So qualification of the teaching staff. Uh, how many teachers do we have full time part time and you know are we uh, up, uh, complying as per the muster so if we have say sanctioned students uh, faculty strength of uh, uh, 50 and then how many are male female how many are assistant professors and how many are the vacant seats so all of that then we have the extended profile where we can you know define the program details uh, where you know the uh, the student uh, that are there in the system so uh, how many programs do we offer how many students have enrolled for which program how many teachers are there under each program and the courses introduced so these are you know in line with uh, uh, to generate lot of uh, reports that are required then we move towards the uh, uh, framework so actual uh, accreditation framework which is based on the criteria as we know so criteria wise we will see you know curricular aspects if we can see we can define here the program and the diploma introduced uh, you know and which year it was introduced we can see here there's a provision to define the web link so you know and this is this is you know so i'll be showcasing you in brief so we have to see to it that the complete uh, solution is in compliance with the requirements that are there uh, by the uh, accreditation body and uh, we can see here the web links that are there so you can define here the web link you can upload a file that is associated with that particular so sanction letter for that particular or whenever we sign the mous and all so the mou uh, letter that can be seen here so you can you know upload that mou letter and so on so forth so you can keep on updating the information in the system and you can generate these kinds of reports so certificate and diploma programs introduced uh, report that is there how many times the course was offered whether we have defined the web link or not and whether we have attached the document or not similarly you know so th this is a type of a report that we can generate from the system in excel say certificate and diploma were introduced in these years this is the link that is there and these reports since they are in excel they can be exported and you know they can be required if they can uh, if required they can be modified and directly uploaded on the uh, accreditation portal or on the website uh, of the institute as well then you know certificate diploma introduced in the summary report of that and other details that are there in the criteria are c program or the syllabus revision uh, if it is a autonomous institution so when the uh, program was revised what is the program code what is the year of introduction uh, syllabus content and the web link similarly uh, you know the course of the skill development uh, that have been introduced so this is also for autonomous and universities then uh, for the affiliating institutions it is like teachers participation in various bodies so in which academic year they participated what was the committee mem uh, name what was the teachers role so was he a member secretary or he was you know the chairman of the committee or so on so forth then uh, we have you know an uh, student enrollment in certificate and diploma programs this is to the online admission the data will be tracked and you can generate the reports of you know what all certificate courses how many student registered how many student completed the course so this is very important that you know it may happen that 50 students have registered but only uh, 40 students completed the course so all of these uh, quality analysis that is required by the uh, body is available then uh, student projects and internships so academic year project name course details uh, and you know uh, who is the guide for that particular uh, project internship and what are the reports so in each area there is a form where you can upload all of this information you can define the web link and you can upload the required document that you have you know as a supporting document so what happens is when we have uh, you know uh, consolidated reports that are uh, been generated we can also see that the scan images of the document that we have attached because see it is you know practically very difficult to track a document that was generated 5 years back and you know we have to search lot of files if it, even if it is scored in the scan image in the computer then you know it is difficult to search through the folders so here uh, you know you will be able to easily get through this then the criteria to is teaching learning and evaluation where uh, you can define the course and category wise sanction strength academic year program name uh, uh, what is the total sanction strength then the teachers who have completed the phd's teacher who are obtaining the phd's have they been awarded uh, you know uh, the permission to be a uh, research guide for the phd's how many phd's have been conducted under them teacher awards Uh, that they have received so uh, and what is the type of the award whether it is a government award or it is a private award then what was it a national award uh, and you know for what uh, activity that the, the award is and as you can see there is a excel report that gets generated so you know uh, uh, average percentage of full time teachers who received awards so this is the you know criteria 2.2.4 report that is required so similarly you know we can get all the reports in excel format in the system then we have the third criteria research innovation and extension where we can see you know the research projects that are there name of the research projects uh, name of the principal then you know uh, who is the 
uh, uh, department under which that project has been conducted. Then we have the academic year, funding agency, uh, what is the amount sanctioned, duration, and the date of the award. And while we are doing this, then you know the award letter of that uh, PhD will be uploaded in the system. And uh, you know, uh, basically, we can what we can do is. uh you know we can define the web link and while we are generating the re research project reports on a annual basis so those reports can be generated so on a five year scale how many research projects have happened year on year that we can generate. then the grants for the research projects sponsored by the government which uh, what was the sponsoring agency of the government and you know when did th that grant come with was it a central or a state agency and you know what was the amount of grant then workshops are conducted on the ipr development web links photos that are conducted of the workshop attach the documents uh, the, you know so certificates or the uh, who's the host if we have any external speakers who are coming in then we can define here who was the external speaker what was his designation and you know from which institute they had come up uh, research paper related uh, you know uh, areas so if, what were the research publications that the faculty has done what was the year of publication in which journal it was published whether the journal was you know I, their isbn number and the author whether he was a author or a co-author in that paper then the title of the paper that is there so this all details can be seen here then the award from government and uh, extension activities that have come up so what are the extension activities that we are carrying up uh, then mou details as we uh, you know so we sign industry mous so all of these uh, mous that are there that can be you know maintained and uh, what happens is uh, while we are going in for the accreditation we require on a five year scale the uh, all the mous that we have signed and in a chronological order so the report gets generated of scan of all the mous you will be uploading one 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 by one you will get a consolidated pdf of all the mous signed in a single pdf very important what happens is uh, you also require to maintain the file size because you know uh, that it is mandated that the file that can be uploaded can be only up to 3 mb or 5 mb whatever the restrictions are there so we have you know incorporated those restrictions also inside the system so when you generate a report that report will be you know matching uh, the size of the file that is required and you can easily upload that system so you know the ease to the day to day ease uh, is what we are focusing at then we have you know criteria for infrastructure and learning resources so facilities for teaching learning uh, that are there name of the department uh, library books that are there safety precaution measures that you have installed in that particular uh, uh, you know uh, labs and the name of the labs Uh, that are there so chemistry lab what is the safety precaution do we have fire extinguishers so on and so forth and what is the uh, core infrastructure that is there so a uh, name of the department uh, and you know uh, those details then we have the uh, smart classroom details that are there so uh, what is the classroom number which is smart class then you know what are the facilities that we have do we have a uh, projector or wifi and pro wifi and projector both or do we have you know smart board uh, so those remarks then what is the budget that we have allocated on such facilities and what is the overall budget allocation uh for uh, such a uh, report uh, for you know such activities uh, then the institute annual budget and the audited reports of the chartered accountants can be uploaded and those can be available in the consolidated format then the book collections book type name of the book publisher authors uh, you know uh, that are there in the departmental library annual expenditure on books facilities of our e content development do we have a e content lab and you know uh, so photographs of the same uh, web links of the same that can be uploaded here then internet bandwidth available how much is the institute spending on the internet bandwidth the charges and you can attach the proofs uh, that you receive from the vendors uh, then you know the expenditure on the physical and the academic facilities so you know uh, uh, in what way have we developed the uh, physical and the academic facilities for the students how we are bettering our facilities utilization of those facilities uh, you know so which are the vendors who are uh, supplying those facilities and you know how are we utilizing them who is maintaining amc and you know, related areas then we have the student support and progression so you can see here you know i'll i'll take you through some screens where uh, academic year scholarship name number of the students that are there then the scholarship amount and the sanction letter so student list uh, that can be seen here Uh, and you know you, you can see here the against every uh, criteria there is a upload uh, provision that is there and the list of students uh, that you can also upload in the system so we can know that you know what are the scholarships that we are offering and you know under what concession they are being offered so economical aid and these scholarships can be you know internal scholarships these can be scholarships of by the government uh, or you know by the society so all of those can be recorded and maintained here uh, as a part of the audit report then government leadership and management so teachers provided with financial support uh, what was the uh, event for which it the support was provided what was the amount and so on so forth 
then you know so uh, then institutional values and best practices so gender equity promotion uh, you know related uh, activities that are organized academic year and program title wise we can you know see here whether we have uh, alternate energy initiatives do we have you know gender sensitivity facilities so do we have a women's common room and so on so forth then what are the alternate energy initiatives that we have uh, you know initiated and the detailed uh, you know requirements of the seventh criteria those are all captured in the system then the qualitative matrix also we can define here as a paragraph because this is a paragraph that you have to write and very importantly you can define the web link and upload the document against the as a proof uh, uh, you know uh, uh, at the end what we need to measure is also there is a restriction on number of words so are we uh, you know writing that uh, uh, paragraph or the essay or the description that we are supposed to write in a, a defined set of words so we can see here uh, you know uh, uh, qualitative metric wise web links and we can also see here how many words that we have entered so have we entered you know so a criteria particular requires say 500 words to be entered so is it is it sufficient so if we have entered 498 that means sufficient so basically 75 to 100% of the uh, total words maximum words defined if it is then it is sufficiency uh, but we can see here you know there are 36 words only defined that means we wanted to initiate that but somehow it was left so we can you know go and uh, rewrite that paragraph again and you know then we can see here the uh, criteria wise responses so you know all the consolidated reports that's what we can see here uh, criteria 1 uh, and you know uh, then criteria 2 wise teaching learning and evaluation then criteria 3 the report uh, uh, you know with all the parameters that are there within that particular criteria then infrastructure and learning resources similarly student uh, support and progression which will have the student support the uh, uh, progression that means you know how many students uh, you know graduated from the system how many have you know uh, there in the post graduation if they are alumni then you know we are also tracking the alumni connect so all of those activities alumni engagement are there any alumni donations that are coming up uh, are there any alumni chapter wise meetings that are happening so th those can be seen here then governance leadership uh, at the institute level so vision mission can be defined in the system here development and you know the the facilities uh, the fa faculty empowerment program so fdps that we have conducted uh, you know i congratulate the institutions that you have already conducted you know uh, 10 or 11 such uh, sessions uh, which would you know also add then what is the internal quality assurance system that we have developed are we iso certified or what are the certifications that we are going in for then uh, values and the best practices that are adopted by the institutions and consolidated report of you know and finally the ssr report that can be generated from the system here so this was in brief about the accreditation uh, management uh, that uh, we wanted to you know showcase a detailed uh, uh, you know institute if any of the institutions are interested then uh, we can go in for uh, a detailed uh, session with that particular institute and you know uh, based on the uh, expression of interest that the institute does so any questions on you know all the three technical sessions we can uh, we are open for that anike hello hello sir any questions hello 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 am i audible hello Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, but sir, you are right. Okay. Two questions. One library, this one module. Okay. This library module is compatible with uh, Goa, Assam. And what kind of facilities are there in that library module? Lending sir. and giving facilities. Yeah. So, sir, in li in library uh, we have a complete library module uh, in itself, wherein you know you can uh, uh, do the requisition, then uh, accession and cataloging can be done in the system. You can do the circulation area, so uh, you know issue return and uh, of the books. You can do a book bank facility, uh, fine calculation, everything. Then you can also maintain uh, you know the uh, newspaper cuttings, then your research uh, projects and the dissertations that can be maintained in the system. so there is a full fledged library module that is integrated with the erp and uh, you can uh, you know take the facility of that as well okay i mean we need to have other stand alone uh, this thing uh, software for that one isn't it no. yes sir. no no you do not require a stand alone software sir. correct uh, hello sir can you say the little light on the cost cost factor is uh, uh, sir cost factor is what so uh, as far as cost factor is concerned i would request you know if we can uh, you know discuss this on a one uh, to one basis so not a right forum for uh, the cost 
uh, we can you know understand your requirements because it is a completely module wise so the i will tell you the overall cost structure is depending upon the uh, per student basis so you know number of students, so you know we don't want to uh, put a you know load on institutions which have low students uh, and so on so it is uh, proportionate to the number of students it is a per student per year cost model that we follow Oh, hello. Sir, I have modified. Can we modify? Can we modify? Suppose, suppose we want to modify something there to suit our needs. So, can you modify? Okay. Yeah. So, sir, basically, there is a change request and a modification process in the system, where say if the if you raise any new requirement uh, for you know some reports or some processes, we uh, we have a technical team who does the analysis of the system and that is incorporated as a global change. Since we are talking about a cloud-based system. so uh, you know that change if it is uh, good for you know all the institutions will deploy it as a global change if there is any specific requirement of some reports that are there only for your institution we can might as well do it you know based on the structural uh, structures of the report if it is the, not uh, you know basically uh, diverting the structure of that uh, complete system the architecture of the system then that is possible to generate a specific report for your institution as well hello Uh, I have a question question one in chat box. I just processing on data collected by IQSC? or there is platform or gateway for every uh, stakeholder like faculty hod committees office admission cell etc to yes, upload information they supposed to provide to iqsc from their end yeah uh, ajay kumar sir thanks for this question you know i guess uh, this could have been a query of lot of people uh, so this is a decentralized system sir uh, you can uh, uh, you know provide logins it is a role based system as i had mentioned the logins will be with the department and the departmental coordinators if you want to provide it to the faculty members that is also perfectly okay we can provide you know so it's it's a completely role based system uh, so uh, and everyone will do the entry point uh, everyone will enter their data and the data gets consolidated at the departmental level and then you know further it gets consolidated at the institute level yes yes sir. thank you sir thank you and uh, is it uh, is it a combo pack like we have to purchase all three packages you are providing like for net no, migration sir. for admission so that was the whole reason that you know uh, i avoided to uh, mention the cost uh, it is not a combo pack you can decide you know what all modules that you want to go in for uh, however i was having said that you know the more the uh, integration that you want the uh, then you know uh, the number of modules if there are comprehensive then the all the data will seamlessly flow from one module to other so but mm -hmm. otherwise it is not compulsory to go in for a particular module yes sir thank you sir thank you so much sir hello so there is one more question in the chat box hello yes ma'am ma please please ha the question is uh, could be able to prepare lc tc and bona fide certificate uh, noc Yes, ma'am. We are able to prepare, uh, you know, all the reports from the system itself, uh, and you know th that is the uh, ease that the office team will have. So they the, and there is a verification. So there are you know a lot of uh, checks in this. If a student's first TC has been generated, then you know the the second get get uh, whenever it will get generated from the system, it will be a duplicate um, with a duplicate mark. So so and so forth. And also you know bona fide and all can uh, you know if the students. lot of institutions follow fees against a certificate so if i am applying for bona fide then you know i can pay the fees online from the portal itself and uh, apply for say certificate i want to bona fide certificate i can mention the reason for which i want maybe for passport or for some competition that i have to submit and with the reason uh, the certificate gets generated student can get it uh, you know automatically in their login itself ma'am you are not audible uh, your mic is me sorry ha sorry sir Thank you, sir. Uh, there's one more question. Uh, is your library module uh, better than Koha software? Ma'am, uh, I I believe you know uh, uh, every module uh, in itself will have their own advantages uh, and you know the benefits that are supposed. 
koha is only uh, a library solution what we are offering is a comprehensive solution student management library uh, uh, you know e learning and so on so uh, i believe a comprehensive uh, requirement will meet you know the which will help you achieve academic excellence and you know save your lot of time while the data is there in the system so that is where you know we are uh, providing you the solution i can also see a, a, a question that you know uh, from uh, archana ma'am uh, is there any provision for transcripts so yes ma'am uh, for uh, there is a provision for transcripts in the system uh, that is a part of the examination and the uh, you know other reports so since you know the uh, today's scope was limited to the particular modules we have you know focused on that if you want to see the examination module as per the mumbai university requirements you may please uh, share your request with uh, our coordinator mr aniket and uh, we can set up a demo at your institution uh if there are no more questions uh, we can move further towards the end of the session today's webinar are there any more questions Okay. Uh, Let us take photo now. Ah uh, yes, sir. After photo, we will take a photo. Ah, uh, there is one uh, question in the chat box regarding uh, salary uh, sheets. Yes. So, ma'am, we do have a module on uh, you know HRMS where uh, you know as I had mentioned. So that is uh, the employee onboarding, uh, their leave management, their salary sheets. and you know everything can be generated uh, leave related uh, leave integrated salary so if you have any rules on lwps then those can be integrated uh, for the staff members uh, and uh, you know the complete form 16 uh, and everything can be generated so salary slips will be emailed to the faculty members directly in their login or you know on their email and uh, even the form 16 and all can be generated at the year end so there is a comprehensive hrms module as well uh hello uh, madam yeah. as like uh, as like admission process you uh, explained that we get uh, directly an output like output file we get where we Correct. have all information of the students like same uh, can we have the uh, like uh, ready made file or pdf file for this nac uh, things like which whatever yes. the data we are collected with yes yes so you know yes. the data that is collected that will get generated in excel a uh, word and pdf all formats see sir lo lot of times it happens that you know uh, we have to uh, make some last minute changes in the data so mm -hmm. uh, you know if you generate in excel you can directly make those changes and then upload it if you have you know if you are uh, okay that you know system has the all the proper information in place and you don't want to make any changes in the report then you can also generate the report in the pdf format uh, sir can we say that it is it is at, as good as like aqr uh, drafting will that, uh, that uh, sir, particular thing be as equivalent as aqr drafting no sir see you know uh, i would say it meets the requirements of aqr drafting uh, mm -hmm. you know final touch ups you may uh -huh. so that is why you know i mentioned that we generate a report in the word format that you can mm -hmm. you can make a final changes uh, some alignments here and there you may have to uh, you know do or there are you know some last minute information of the data that is coming to you regarding you know some budgetary spends that happens and you are not able to enter into the software because you would have generated that report so you can you know uh, add up uh, those uh, points in the report and uh, then finally you can you know submit it i mean i mean uh, we can say that very much efforts i mean very much uh, uh, task or tedious job we would have uh, overcome with this thing. yes 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 so i would say 90 95% uh, uh, you know uh, uh, job will be auto done and yes. you know last 10% is what you can you know uh, yes. do it uh, with to manually maybe yes yes uh, everything see uh, 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 i'll tell you know nothing in this world you know no machine in this world can replace the manual touch yes, so yes. that last 10% finishing touch can be done by your institution yes. manual yes. thank you so much sir thank you i guess there are no more questions left acha there's one more question on uh, youtube uh, can we buy one module only like online admission module yes ma'am you can go in for a modular approach that's that's a perfectly okay thing for us also one last last mention you know since there's a query on online admission module i would like to mention that uh, you know since it is um, been ma main mandatory to for institutions to go for uh, online admission process 
uh, we are uh, you know we have set up a fast track team who is uh, you know onboarding all the institutions uh, for the admissions before the 12th results are declared so uh, if at all you are interested you may connect with our team members where you know we can uh, set up your payment gateway we can set up your form uh, as uh, showcased by uh, poonam ma'am and we can you know make your admission process live and running questions also so, feedback link has been provided uh, in the chat box so you know all members who have attended the feedback uh, may please uh, you know share your feedback on the system uh, on the today session and which will help us you know uh, contribute and improve uh, and make it better yes we are uh, sharing the feedback link uh, if you the chat box and description box of youtube as well please wait for a minute it will be shared just now uh, and uh, i guess there are no more questions so uh, it was a wonderful session sir and your software is really very good uh, almost all the participants have commented that it is very informative session and the software is very good they have liked it very much and we have already provided the contact details to all the participants on all the whatsapp groups and telegram groups so they that they can contact you for uh, further process and for personally our college i will also talk to anik sir for uh, the rest of the model explanation as uh, instructed by our principal sir so uh, and uh, for now uh, as we have come to the end of our today's webinar i would like to invite our ipsc coordinator this is the snehal bagdawkar ma for a uh, vote of thanks for proposing the vote of thanks hello thank you good afternoon one and all i am mrs snehal bhargavkar i am mrs snehal bhargavkar ipsc coordinator of shrimati dekhiba mohan singh ji chauhan college of commerce and science silvasa is delighted to propose a vote of thanks i would like i would like to extend my sincere gratitude to our chairman honorable chairman shri fateh singh ji chauhan sir for continuous motivation and support thank you so much sir i would also like to extend my sincere thanks to honorable secretary shri devdas bhai shah sir and all respected trust members for continuous support thank you sir thank you all i would also like to thank uh, thank our principal uh, professor dr ambadar chadav sir for continuous guidance as well as support thank you sir on behalf of shrimati dekhiba mohan singh ji chauhan college of commerce and science i would like to give a special thanks to our today's speaker i would like to thank gaurav somani sir poonam nathani ma'am and aniket sonar sir for a wonderful session it was really very informative session and very very nice session sir everybody enjoyed it everybody liked it uh, with the help of comments we can see that they all are ready for the uh, digital era now i also like to thank all the participants without whom which was not possible uh, this webinar was not possible so thank you all the participants for joining and uh, attending the webinar last not the least i would also like to thank our coordinator of this webinar ms nidhi patel ma'am and all the dekiba team for their continuous help for to and uh, for conducting the smooth webinar thank you everyone a small instruction that for e certificate everyone has to fill a feedback form and uh, like and subscribe your our youtube channel a uh, feedback form link uh, please be careful while filling up the feedback link as the certificate is auto generated through the feedback link so after that we cannot correct the name the spelling of the of your name thank you everyone like and share subscribe our channel and have a nice day thank you so much thank you all thank you ma'am thank you very much thank you sir thank you very thank you very much thank you ma'am uh, now i would request all the participants to switch on their uh, videos so that we can have a group photo 
I request all the participants to switch on the cameras so that we can have a good photo. Uh, thank you everyone. Thank you so much for attending today's uh, webinar. I hope it's useful to you. And thank, thank you, you so much, much uh, sir, uh, the whole team of my The whole team of Mastersoft. It was really a wonderful session. Uh, as the ma'am has already given the instruction, please fill the feedback form very carefully and the certificates will be provided to you within one week uh, on your uh, email IDs that you have filled up in the feedback form and the link is already provided into the chat box of uh, this Microsoft team as well as on the YouTube. So uh, I request all the participants to fill the feedback form uh, because your feedback is very valuable for us and uh, thank you so much. Thank you for attending today's webinar. I'll end the meeting now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you ma'am. Thank you sir.